Hi Stitchy friends! My name is Ashley and welcome to my channel, A Little Patience. This is floss tube number 16. Today is Thursday, July 13th and my mom's birthday is tomorrow. So happy birthday mom, I love you. Um, welcome back everybody and uh, if you are new here, um, this is a, a channel where I talk about cross stitch and a little bit of crochet. So I have some whips to show you. And my first one in my pile is Dear Friends by Plum Street Samplers. I'm stitching this on 32 count cream and I'm using my own DMC conversion. I tried to match up the colors as best I could to the image on the cover. So, I did start this and then I restarted this. So here's my original. You'll notice the colors are a little bit darker than what I ended up choosing. Let me fold it over. It looked like it showed a little better. So that was my first one and then I, I um, thought the colors were too dark and then I switched it a little bit, took some more time and came up with some different DMC colors and that's what I've done so far. This is what my daughter chose for me to work on. She really wanted me to get to the deer. So I stopped working on the tree to make it over to him. And let's see, maybe I can do it all together. These are much darker and I really like uh, what I came up with. And I think it's matching it fairly well. Got it in there. So, these are the colors I chose. I wrote them on the back next to the called for. I just want to make sure I'm getting it in there. I wrote them down really lightly. Um, when I'm all done, I'll put them on my stitch card and show you guys that if you're interested. So that is my progress on Dear Friends. I kind of was in a fall mood um, this week, two weeks. It's been two weeks. Uh, my finger's doing okay. The blister popped. Sorry if you're squeamish. Um, it doesn't look the greatest, but it's it dried out and it's it's fine now. So anyway, uh, my next one is Little House Needleworks Farm Life. I'm stitching this on Colonial Parchment, but I dyed it darker because the white, which I think is bamboo, was not showing up. So I ended up dyeing my fabric so the white would show up better. And then I started in the middle instead of with the clouds in the top left. So I've got the carrots and the wagon and a little bit of the words. This is what I was working on today. Let me fold it over. And that's how far I've gotten. It's, it's just like a really small start. So there's farm life. I was pretty tired last night, so I didn't work on it very much. And I do like the, the fabric after I dyed it. It turned out ni um, much nicer. It was, it was very light. And um, like I said, the bamboo wasn't showing up very well. So I think it matches the picture pretty good too. So that's cool. All right, so there's farm life. And then next, is Country Cottage Needleworks, and this is Party Cakes. I'm trying to get um, get those whips done that I started in January, or at least work on them and uh, like one at a time until I finish them. Oh, let me put this behind here. And there's Party Cakes. This is, I think, Mystery Linen. And I'm using all the called for threads my um my light pink 
I don't have my here. The light pink is sponge sugar and it's really light. So I did end up adding some some beads to this cake. And then I decided I'll just add beads to all of them to add a little extra um little extra sparkle to it. Make it look really cute. So there is party cakes. I'll probably uh, continue to work on these until I finish them and then switch back out to something. Um, after this, I'll probably go to Christmas and work on Willie's stocking and some other Christmas um, starts I had. Okay, so another whip and finish is Country Cottage Needleworks October Cottage. And I stitched this with the called for colors <clears throat> on coffee tea dyed 28 count even weave. Let me tell you, going from linen to um, even weave that's been um, dyed is a huge difference. This was very stiff and I was like, oh my gosh, why am I working on this? But it's so pretty the way it turns out on this fabric. And then all of the months will be stitched on the same fabric and they'll turn out really, really nicely. So here is October. I love the pumpkins down here. They're so cute. Little, little crow in the sky. So I will have to get that fully finished. Another finish I have is Noel Free 2019 by Croquette Agogo. Shoo. Flash it real fast. And I don't have a stitch card for this one. And I don't know what it is stitched on. So I'll see if I can figure that out and then get you that information when I show you my fully finish. So here is Noel 2019. I thought it was um, going to look good as an ornament. So I purchased, whoops, some chenille from Lady Dots Creates in snow so I can make a um, like a stuffed ornament and then put that around it. I have to find some fabric for the back and I watched the tutorial by Vonna Pfeiffer already so I, I'm already prepared. I know what I'm gonna do, how to do it. You need a toothbrush to fluff it up when you're done. So I'm looking forward to getting this one finished. I did leave out um, the two dots on top of the E, and I did use all the called for colors. And they're DMC. And it turned out really cute. Really uh, fast to stitch too. Okay, whoops, upside down. So I also have, um, that's all my stitching. I have some FFOs to share with you some haul and some crochet uh, finishes I did. And I already talked about my plans to, to do some fall and then move to Christmas. I'm still working on my designs. I have it right here. <laughs> it's my snail house. Um, I'm working on that one. I did finish my one banner for my patriotic banner. I will continue to work on those and then I'll let you know when I have something new in my Etsy shop. But go check it out. I've got some cute stuff in there. And no fall though. I should make a fall design. So my first FFO is Claus Christmas. Here, oh shoot. I gotta be right back guys. I forgot I was making a quiche for breakfast tomorrow. So the wise words of Laura from Brenda and the Serial Starter. Stitch amongst yourselves. I'm not gonna pause it, I'll be right back. I do apologize. 
Um, <laughs> I've gotten a lot of eggs for my chickens, so I decided to make a quiche for tomorrow morning. So I didn't have to make it in the morning. And then I forgot about it and my timer went off. So I'm really sorry, I do apologize. So here is Claus Christmas. I used all the call for colors and added a few of my own because I did not stitch it on black. I stitched it on 28 count vintage country mocha and I changed some colors around in the, um, in the stitching. So here is what it looks like. This is by Stitching with the Housewives. So what I did was I made the stars Queen D, Classic Color Works. I um, changed Santa's boots to black coffee. I changed Santa's gloves to black coffee and his belt. I added some gold uh, sparkly thread. It's I think it's rainbow plus or something. I have it for really stocking. Got my my mom made this for me, and I've got my thread in here for um Willie stocking. And let's see if I can find it. Nope, nope, it is here. So I use this for the gold on Santa's belt, and I jazzed up Mrs. Claus's shoes. I also, <clears throat> instead of using Ribbon Red for Christmas, I used the uh, pink, the clay pot. I made my trees solid green. And the reindeer are the same. The elf's hands, I moved both to pointing down. Um, Mrs. Claus, I took out Mrs. and I added a little holly. And then I changed her shoes and her leggings. I think that's it. I think that's what I, I think that's just it. That's all I changed. So. <clears throat> there's my finish. I made my um, sticky board a little too big so my trees kind of hang down. Um, but that's okay. Here, I'll get out. So I added some plaid backing fabric that I had in my stash. I've used it for um, some other Christmas finishes as well. And then I had some Merry Christmas ribbon I used at the top corners because um, I think this side of my garland came out. So I had to glue it back on and I wanted to cover it up. And then I added these, I think they're called bristle brush trees. I had some mini ones, so I added one on either side. And just here, I want to make sure you guys can see her shoes. I made them like little high heels. I think they're so cute. And then her apron turned out nice. I like how it turned out. It doesn't look silly at all. So there is my Claus Christmas finish. And I love how it turned out. I'll have to find a spot to hang in my house for um, Christmas time. But for now, I'm going to set it back down out of the way so I can show you my other finish. <clears throat> yep, I only had one more because, uh, you know, that happened. And then I was put off from hot glue for a little, little bit. So I finished Merry Old Soul by With Thy Needle and Thread. I had this stitched up um, a while ago, so it's not um, something I was working on. It is on Fox and Rabbits. I don't know what, uh, what count it is. And I used all the call for threads. And look, it's kind of getting all bubbly. Oh, that's disappointing. My camera kind of got a little wonky when I was stitching it, so it's a little curvy right here, and I couldn't fix it, and I'm okay with that. But I have it on this sled frame from um, Goodwill, 
It did have silver ribbon, but I took that out and I replaced it with a thinner version of this. So they would match. And then I added some um, greenery and red berries. They're little frosted sparkly. Um, this silver white bow and a little candy cane. That was like <clears throat> an ornament. It had a little circle in the top. I just snapped it off really easily. Um, it looks so cute on here. And it, it does pop up, but um, I will just most likely hang it up somewhere. It's super cute. And I think the fabric is eucalyptus. Fox and Rabbit eucalyptus. Probably 40. Prob I'm going to say it's 40 count. I love how he turned out. He is adorable. And I love him on this sled. Are you okay? Are you okay? I love you. Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, sweetie. I love you too. Okay, I lost my train of thought because my kids were saying good night to me. But... They're so cute. Okay, I think that's it for my fully finishes. Merry old soul. Um, I'll show you my haul next and then my crochet. And then I'll be done. So, my LNS is having a Christmas in July sale. And the first sale is on patterns. The second sale, I think, is on fibers. And I think the third one is on fabric. So I went and got some charts. A lot. A lot. Okay, you guys ready? I'm not gonna take them out of their plastic bags, but I got Heart in Hand. Bird in the Hand Summer. Winter. And Spring. So now all I need is Fall. My LNS did not have Fall. I purchased Heart in Hand Throwback Checkerbird for my bird wall. I was shopping for wallpaper this um, afternoon can't quite decide what I want but I do want peel and stick because it's easier for me to work with but I'll have to choose how I want to stitch this little one up to put on there I have the sweetheart tree Quaker alphabet square one and Quaker alphabet square two and I thought it would be really cute to stitch these together mm -hmm. I'm trying not to get it the glare okay that's kind of but that's good so I like how the alphabet goes around I thought it would look really cute stitched together and I don't know if there's a two, three and a four I imagine there's just a one and, two, and then two because the alphabet ends but I'll have to check before I start stitching them they're really cute I like the little bunnies and the flowers on the, on the um, little base or pot there. And green's my favorite color, but I may not stitch them green. I just, I really like them. I've seen them for, I've been eyeing them for a while. I also purchased the Scarlet House Charlotte Murdoch 1815. I thought her dogs were so cute. So that one looks like it'll stitch up really um, quickly. I have A Girl in Her Garden by With a Needle and Thread. This one came out in 2022. I feel like it came out this year. I could be wrong, but the copyright says 2022. So I will most likely stitch it as a drum. I've never made a drum before, but um, I think they're so pretty finished like that. Rosewood Manor Garden Visit, another 
drum finish. So I, um, I'm really looking forward to that one. I don't know what the saying is, but a little bit of it says a garden is a something something. You can visit something something. I'll have to open it out up and and read it. So then I got Plum Street Samplers Mini Moon. A little bunny in the house and the American flag. So cute. And the poppies. So I like how it's finished as a pillow in that little bowl there. I have a little summer sampler by La Dida. Sorry, it's in an angle. I'm trying not to get my ring light. It is starting to get dark sooner now that um, the summer solstice is, no, has it? Longest day, yeah, isn't the first day of summer the longest day of the year? I'm pretty sure. Let me know if I'm wrong. The Nebby Needle, I Live in the Garden. I thought this would be cute to put by my back door leading into my backyard where my garden is. Well, my garden's kind of all over, but most of my plants are in the backyard. So I thought that was cute. It says, I live in the garden, I just sleep in the house. It's a nice, nice, cute saying. And speaking of sayings, I thought this was pretty clever too. I don't know who used my fabric scissors, but I will find you. It's Lucy Beam. I will find you. I never ever let anybody in my house use my scissors for my craft room. This was from Market in um, my LNS finally got, got it in. I wanted it from Market. They didn't get it right away, I don't think. Maybe she ran out. But this is Bendy, yeah, Bendy Stitchy January Willow Sampler. So I'm curious to know if she has a sampler like this for um, February and March and April, May, and so on. But I thought this one was really cute and sweet. I also got Plum Street Sampler's Summer Moon because I have spring moon and she's making a summer moon. I'm guessing um, maybe fall and winter will come too, unless they are already out and I'm just behind the times as a mother of three, but I try my best. So I just love the rabbits and the moon. I think that's so cute. I also got to quote Shakespeare by With My Needle and Thread. I do have the um, the other three. I've had them for a while. I was hoping she would do like a winter one. She has a Christmas one, a fall one, and then um, a summer one. What am I thinking? Oh, spring. I was hoping she would come up with a spring one, but um, it doesn't seem like that will be happening? I don't know. I haven't seen the new one in a, um, I've only ever seen these before. So I thought I might as well get it. And maybe this is kind of like the spring one. I wonder if it is. But it's still really cute. I've been wanting to get it for a while. And I have not made any of them though. I'm a little um, not scared to put them together as a fully finished piece. I just don't know how to do it. So I'll have to, I'm, I'm sure she has instructions and I'll just, I'll be fine. I'll figure it out. But I have this one. It's really cute. Okay. I also have Heartstring Samplery, The Stitching Life. And it says, I could... I could use a little more stitching in my life. Isn't that the truth? That is horrible. You can't see it at all. Oh my, that's so bad. Maybe that way? That's a little bit better. It has uh, some really nice motifs in there. Really cute. Like the scissors and the birds. 
I mean, we could all use a little stitching, a little bit more, just a little bit more, just a little bit longer. Like staying up for bedtime when you're a kid, but mom, just a little bit longer. Okay, three more, it feels like. I also have Ellen Barber 1895 from Hands Across the Sea. I thought it was so cute and small enough for me um, compared to my other big samplers, so it's not too daunting. And I think this is only my second Hands Across the Sea chart. My first one is um, that green one I got when I purchased my um, frame, and that's gonna be my birthday start. Second to last, The Scarlet House, Mary Ann Smith, 1835. The saying on this one says, what I, what I, I'm not that old, but I still, <laughs> cross-stitching and reading at night has made it harder and harder. I do have glasses though, they're like so puny. Um, you guys would laugh at my prescription. What though I am but a child, and little can I discern, Christ is a teacher, meek and mild, and bids me come and learn. So, there is Mary Ann Smith. I just like the saying and the, um, the colors, the color palette I really liked. And the last one I thought was very cheerful and fun, it is by Luminous Fiber Arts and Friendship Series Stitching Birds. So, I really like this one. Cheerful and fun. Blue is my mom's favorite color. Maybe I'll stitch this for her too. It's not like cross stitch related really, it's just sewing related, so. So, 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 so. That is all my haul from my LNS, but I did go to the antique mall with my son over the weekend and I found the perfect frame for Eliza's French Birds. It's a little large, but I think it will be perfect for this. Um, so it's a little big. I have a small head, but you get the idea and I think I still might stitch it on 36 count and just have a lot of um, open space so I thought this was just perfect like the perfect frame for this it is a little wobbly but it'll be fine I think hanging on the wall so can't you just picture it in there it'll be so cute I was so happy when I saw this and then I got another thing that I thought would look cute like back there and just use this to hang small finishes off of. It's kind of like um, a peach color. Just a little metal bird stand. I thought it was, I thought it was super cute. And uh, like I said, I think it would look really nice with some small ornaments or like little pillows hanging off of it. So I got that too. And last is crochet. Um, I already talked about my plans for stitching more fall stuff. So just move my crinkly bag. So after I share these few little things, then um, I'll be out of here. So I've been stitching sh some washcloths to donate to women in need. That's primarily who we help in my uh, craft group. It's like we, um, we donate to um, like um, women's shelters and, um, and kids as well. I'd have to get like the actual organizations. I don't want to say them incorrectly. So I thought washcloths are always nice. And then I did end up finishing my blanket. I was going to keep for myself, but I'm deciding to give this one away too. This was the um, Trinity stitch. So it kind of looks like a um, flower. 
and then I just gave it a simple border and it is so soft and I had enough of this gray yarn left over that I thought I'd try to make a hat to go with it and it's actually a pretty big uh, blanket for a baby but it does use up four balls of um of uh, the green yarn and they were they were large they were very big I don't know if you can see it um it's so soft you guys and I don't think I worked with any baby yarns before so <sighs> it's so cute I love how it turned out and this is like one of my favorite color greens but I don't need another blanket and somebody else can use it and it was stitched with love so hopefully they'll they'll know that and they have some love coming their way so um that's all I've got for you guys and let me just check my little sticky notes um Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you watching this video, um, my other videos. Thank you for sitting here with me. And um, please like the video, become a subscriber. Follow me on Instagram, a little patience XS. <clears throat> um, leave me a comment. Tell me um, what you're stitching, um, what your stitchy plans are. And let me know if you'd like to hear more personal things in the videos, like, you know, my delicious cookies I made this afternoon, or the quiche I forgot about, or um, my daughter is doing baseball games right now, and she's, she is, she's killing it. She has become like the little, little coach. I guess she's like telling her coach she wants to be first when they bat. She wants to be this position when they're on defense. And um, she's kind of taking over the team, I, I guess. Which is kind of, it's kind of, it's so her personality. So, um, I feel like I'm rambling on when I talk about personal stuff. So, um, I'm right at like 32 minutes. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening or morning whenever you are watching this and tell a friend and um happy stitching everyone and i'll see you next time bye